Hose mad. <laughs> hose mad, yes. <laughs> and when hose mad, they think this is what they all look like. Uh-huh. And I just, I have one thing to say to you ladies. Let me see your protest face. I want to see it. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh, uh, Shit. bullshit. You didn't convince me. You Let bet. me see your real protest face. <laughs> <laughs> Work on it. <laughs> yeah. You better work on that, baby. You better work on it. You better work on it very well. You're, you're not scaring me. I'm, I'm not feeling motivated to protest anything. You notice she has like a dead caramel corn tooth in the front? Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't really look at her messed up grill. <laughs> She's got the, the one right there. Well, on on our right, her left side, right there. Unless this is, of course, you know, every woman shooting herself in mirror mode. She got a dead tooth. She got a dead tooth right there in the front. She better get a veneer. Well, uh, well, it doesn't matter. She's uh, she's the matter. size eighteen. It's over for her. Yeah, it's a dead tooth from chewing on too much cack all these years. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, a woman with a face like that, you know, she is a fetal serial killer. But it's okay because Pop still gives her a four. Oh, God, stop. <laughs> Just stop. Listen, a four is not a compliment in my book. Well, no, it's below average. Like a one or a two is like burn victims, retards, <laughs> hair lips. But at least with burn victims, it's not their fault. And then like a three, you, you got to be like four or five hundred fucking pounds. <laughs> you know, a four is pretty much the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, in terms of natural looks, you're yes. saying? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I know everyone's like, oh, man, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, what about some of those Irish ditch pigs oh you're talking God. about? Yeah. Would they be fours? Or are you talking? There were threes and fours. Okay. They weren't below that. Hmm. No, but they, listen, um, I had a rude awakening when I showed up in Ireland. I was with six other <laughs> soldiers. We were drinking, going around to the bars, having a great time, and- and I thought I was going to see all of this green grass and drink this awesome beer and see beautiful women. Not so much. Redhead and blondes with green eyes and big tits. But that did not happen. <laughs> uh, I ran into car crash ditch pigs. Ooh. Yeah, it was not good. I mean, they're as in car crash ditch pigs, as in jacked up grill. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like they yeah. smoked. Their teeth oh. were just tore up. Like flossing with a jump rope. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> I was just like, oh. I, I just, me, we just got so tanked. And Those are the kind of people, you know, they eat the, the movie theater popcorn, and then they get the kernel in their mouth, and then they can spit it between their two front teeth. It's good! <laughs> in fact, that's nasty! <laughs> Pretty much, man. And, and listen, I was so disillusioned. And then they're like, well, you should have went up to Scotland. The women are good looking up there. Probably not. <laughs> okay, as a betting man, I saw the women in England. Most of them were horrendous. <laughs> Ireland, ditch pigs. Uh, I saw ditch maybe pigs. two or three that were, you know, okay in a homely kind of way. <laughs> and I didn't make it up to Scotland. I should have went up there instead, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah. It is what it is, We man. had to take the ferry over. Oh, okay. That was That was a drunk fest. Take the, take the ferry over so you can eat some king dongs. No. Okay. No. That, no not all oh, the the boat kind of ferry. The Got boat it. kind of. Ferry. All right, just making sure. You know the guy who takes you across the river Styx. Critanic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, on the way back, that's pretty much how it was. We we're, we're all like, oh my god, I can't believe how ugly those women are. Yeah, the river Styx hex and hammer. Clank on, bitches. <laughs> Clank on. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear some uh, see some more hose mad? We got a lot more hose mad for uh, you. Oh yeah. Okay. Um Gina Darling who is apparently popular enough in certain circles to be blue check mark certified on Twitter says if men were able to get pregnant this would have never been up for discussion. Fuck this backwards ass shit. And of course, the leftoids dog piled because as we know, we live in an era, an era where uh, you know, garbage is money. 
Uh, men can have periods. Clown world. Uh, women can ejaculate, apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, pardon my wording. Not sure what the proper wording is for this, but I guess people born with male reproductive organs. If that's not correct, please educate me. I'm sorry if that came off as transphobic. <laughs> Listen. The fuck? Well, if you went to college, or hell, if you graduated high school and you took just basic high school biology, you know what a man and a woman is. Yeah. And all of this horse shit about, well, I'm not a biologist, I can't I'm not it. a biologist. Shut the fuck up. It's yeah. not that complicated. No like, I'm not a vet or a zoologist, but I know what a dog is, I know what a cat is, and if I go to the zoo, I know if I'm looking at a member of the primate family or the feline family. Yeah, and you, you should have enough common sense to know... You don't fuck with rattlesnakes. Yes. It and, will and, fuck you up. And if you go fuck around in the outback, a kangaroo might just drop kick your ass into the drink. It's it's, just, it may happen. And we've seen it. We actually we showed one of those already on the video. <laughs> one of those clips cut out eight or nine weeks back. Yeah. Yeah. Kangaroos will fuck you up. They're not. You might think they're playing. Yes. <laughs> and they're not fucking around. No, man. No. It's, it's, they're They're like small dogs like chihuahuas you know you, you think they're so little and cute but then you try to clean their ears and they turn into tiny bear traps yep. bite your ass a kangaroo will jump up in the air and kick your ass <laughs> literally <laughs> <laughs> he might even kick you in the face and like they have a claws down there that'll rip you open which which streets of rage was it let me know dudes i know there was a streets of rage game i i know if it was two or three where they actually had a boxing kangaroo as one of the playable characters really I yeah saw that. that shit was weird i think they just called it Roo. you know such an imaginative name yeah yeah you know. well, yeah, fun games well fun a lot games. of games back then were not very imaginative no mm -hmm. like no, it, asteroids it, yeah well, and then you had, you know, once the Japanese came out with an Italian plumber, you know, who's fat and portly, but evidently can jump up in the air and punch bricks to smithereens. Mm -hmm. uh, the question of whether or not uh, you needed to take drugs to design video games was basically answered. Absolutely correct. <laughs> but we got some more hoes mad. Uh, or should I say, but of course, mm. women are the only ones who are ever the victims of double standards, right, Pop? Well, correct. Yeah, men are never held to ridiculous, illogical double standards. Right. 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 Bing. Oh, God. Now, this looks like two separate photos taken from, you know, could be from anywhere, but I shit you not. This one here on the left and on the right were stacked on top of each other on the exact same website. You can see the formatting is the same right there on top of each other. What Social website media. was that? Uh, that viral feed dot com. Right. So social media concerned over Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend celebrates her twenty fifth birthday. Probably means he's getting ready to swap her out for a new model. Yeah, she's she's getting she's getting flushed. And then Gran of seventeen, we've actually talked about this woman before. Gets married to twenty four year old man. Says they're ready to welcome a child together. At seventy, what? Uh, yeah, at, at Gran of seventeen, I believe she's sixty eight or sixty nine years old. That's one blown out whistle sack. You, you better not take that woman to Chicago or. Ugh. She'll be uh, sounding off by uh, musical notes when you take her between buildings. Like, ooh. Sounds like the wind in a Castlevania game. <laughs> no, no. I had a, I had a former commander. I had nine brothers and sisters. And I remember, I'm like, God, your mind must have a blown out whistle sack. <laughs> he, he started laughing uncontrollably and almost fell on the floor. Well? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm oh, just... Yeah, could you imagine doing the laundry for that many kids? You need a dryer the size of a Ferris wheel. What have we all been hearing since since this was threatened to get passed down? Well, we're just not going to have sex with you anymore. Good. We're going to force vasectomies on you. Okay, stop uh, making false ahead, equivalency. Shut the fuck up. But uh, yeah, um, it's it, that, it's it's as bad as you think. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. So is she like a size twenty six? Well, she is horizontal. Which so, actually is more forgiving for yeah. some women. So she might be a 24 to 28. <sighs> I am but, on strike. No choice for me. No sex for him. Um, You haven't been able to give birth since the Nixon administration. But the thing is, is like I always do the measurement. I look at the bicep area of the arm. Oh, yeah. The shankles. It's bigger than her head. Okay, and I compare it to the head, and I and I compare it to her thigh. And she has no ankles. You and if the thigh is eight, so, eight, eight, you know, a minimum of eight times bigger than the arm, you know that woman's 
on the north end of 250, maybe 280, yeah. approaching three bills. I would say we're definitely in the neighborhood of three bills. Well, you, you have a gravity anchor there. <laughs> I'm I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> it's a walking it. gravity well, and they, these women get that fat, and they're like, I can't, I can't seem to meet any nice guys. It's because you're so fat, you're warping time and space, <laughs> and they're meeting themselves on the way out when they meet you, and they tell them not to come in. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm telling you, man. It really cracks me up. Feminists, modern feminists, like this started with the third waivers. And arguably, you could say that we're possibly on a like fourth wave at this point because now not only do we have to have, you know, third wave delusional feminism, now we have to have mentally ill men can have periods feminism. Um, but it's almost like they decided that they weren't going to. They were just going to make it that much easier for you to realize why they're man-hating feminists. I'm going to let the inside show on the outside. But then I'm going to say the problem is your social beauty standards. Yes, uh, it's totally not the fact that you're 300 pounds and you look like you fell down a flight of stairs carrying wedding tackle and you dipped your head in every color of the rainbow on your way over to protest. That's totally not it. It kind of reminds me of like, uh, I'm a born again virgin. <laughs> All right, listen, you are never, ever going to be able to undick yourself because... Mm -hmm. I That's said, just the way it works. I said that to chicks I banged who out of themselves as feminists later. Ah. How dare you disagree with me? You know that you don't know what it's like to be harassed on the street. Actually, I'm three to seven times more likely to be assaulted on the street than you are, but thank you for playing. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I ever slept with you. I know, it's terrible. You can never unsuck my dick. Please move on. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy that shit. Oh, that's good. She sure did at the time. Yeah. <laughs> this video was the epitome of fantasy versus reality of Hose Mad. Remember, they all think they're Wonder Woman right now. Uh, you're expecting Handmaid's Tale, but you're really going to get Wonder Woman. <laughs> okay, let's see what that looks like. Here we go. Oh, here we go. That's effective. Not effective. It's effective when... Good kick. <laughs> That's effective. No. That'll get you killed. It's effective when oh, the person God. you're fighting the mouth. has no arms and can't fight back. I, I like the butt, the butt, the butt like white, white <laughs> slap. <laughs> <laughs> Why are there so many of these? That's my question. I love that one. Yeah, I try attack from behind. A bitch in the air. What is this? I have no idea. What, you think you're cool because you have a leather jacket? No, leather jackets are, are not really... All right. Now, that that's effective right there. Boy, of course, that's effective on anybody. But you can tell there's no water in that. But she thing. has really bad form with the bat, so it would be easy enough to catch it and take it away from her. No, I do like the knockdown and squat fart maneuver. <laughs> As do I. I, 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 I this, the, that would, highly that effective would neutralize right there, yeah. me. Especially if it was a oh, queen. I love this one. Okay. <laughs> the, oh, she's got a good kick to the head. I like that one. <laughs> Your boyfriend treats you like shit. Stop. Throw him away. That's fine. That's why you're alone. And, and a lot of women throw the good guys away in their <laughs> 20s and they hate it in their late 30s and 40s. This is comedy gold. Well, yeah. But... The people who watch this don't think it's comedy gold. They think it's Yas Queen. Yeah. That's where the cringe factor comes in. I'm I like, mean, God. that girl's probably what a buck twenty tops, if that. Yeah. Yeah. And listen, physics exists, and yep. reality is a harsh mistress. And if you're mm -hmm. a buck twenty, and you walk up and start hitting a man, and he decides he wants to hit you back. He's got a lot of force and weight behind that punch. Yeah. And you're not going to be able to weather the storm. I, I'm, I'm sorry, ladies, but uh, those movies where you see, you know, women like Charlize Theron kicking the asses of like five dudes on screen and she gives him a front kick and he flies across the room like he just got hit with a 12 gauge shotgun blast. Those are just movies. That's right.
Now, listen. Uh, but you do you. <laughs> I, I've actually sparred some, uh, you know, second and third degree female uh, practitioners. Oh, yeah? And uh, they were pretty fucking good. Now, uh, could they defeat me? No. Hey. But if I did not know, if, if they were to get, like, the the first strike in the street, I would probably be done. Hell yeah. Because, you know, they, they, they're very unassuming. They were fast as shit, and all she's got to do is kick me in the balls faster than I can block them. And listen, I'm not Superman. I'm going down to the ground. That's just how it is. That is how it is, yeah. But yeah, some of these, some of these chicks are pretty fucking tough. Yeah, some of them are very tough. But yeah. for every, you know, like, uh, you know, Gina. Yeah, there's you know, like 100,000. You know, actual are... MMA fighter. There's just chicks like this who think that beating up on an armless stationary punching bag that looks like a dude is somehow going to translate to real world toughness. Mm-hmm. That's, and it doesn't no. have any water in the base. No. So, yeah, you can knock it down quite easily. Yeah. I know I'm 120 pounds, but I can kick ass, right? Right? Well, wrong. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.